Oh, we die because of Sizen. See you again soon, Planeswalker. <laughs> we died to Sparky. <laughs>
Ah, uh, that's what the treasure chest was. If we go through all the tutorials, you get all those decks. So we have to for sure get through all of this, which is unfortunate. But if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. Oh, are these alchemy cards? That yeah, looks like it. I can't stand alchemy. All right, cool. That's the last one. Now we can finally play the game. <laughs> that dragon better think twice before he tries messing with you again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see. New decks unlocked. Cool. Look at that. <laughs> now we're at the like loading screen, so the game actually starts now. <laughs> an adventure you're well on your way to being a great planeswalker what's next welcome to my humble home quick start is that that okay cool. here's Get just that out a of few way. of the many okay so because <clears throat> there's some rules packed with expert information Whoa. yeah stop talking you got a quote go here when you're ready to nope, play again. i'm good i'm good complete one color challenge explore one of the five magic colors Emboss Sleeves and Sparky's Challenge. Okay, I'm not worried about that. But we can get packs here. Ah, oh, it looks like we will have to play Historic. That sucks. The only thing you can buy is Jump In. You cannot redeem any wild cards. Name all your decks. Get Mythic Rank. Okay. Start this today. It's exciting. For clarification, you can play Jump In, Starter Deck Duel, Midweek Magic. Open packs you receive from Mystery and Mail. You can't play drafts or paid constructed events. You can't buy packs from the store. You can't redeem codes. And you cannot redeem wild cards. Alright, and then someone says, can you, can you use all the codes for free packs in this challenge? Didn't think about that. Leaning towards no for a hard experience, but it's up to you. Can you use the codes for free packs? Which ones are... Cause it, sa it says no redeeming codes, so then why would you be able to use codes for free packs? Okay. So, let's see what we get in our mail. Um, point two. Okay, Brothers... Brothers War. Okay, six packs. Okay, so we, at least we're getting all of these. Oh, we got wastes. Who cares about waste? Three of those. More invo. We got lands and packs. Alchemy. Ugh. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to play alchemy, which is wow. That's kind of unfortunate and. That just goes to show that they they push the alchemy format hard on new players. Because all the packs that you're getting, let's look at our packs. Uh historic. Historic. Uh let's go standard. So one, two, three, four. And historic, we got one, two, three. We have three. But the reason why I say we'll have to play Historic is because all of these are in Historic. And when you're on a brand new account, you need the entire card pool you got if you're just re-rolling trying to get up there. So we will have to be playing Historic, which means we'll be having to use Alchemy cards. That sucks. Oh wait, this is Alchemy Brothers War. So that's not even standard. So we only got one, two, three standard packs. We got one, two, three, four for uh, Historic slash Alchemy. So yeah, when you start a new account, they push Alchemy hard on you. I guess we just crack our packs and see what we get. We have six of these. We have plenty of packs. Okay, so let's crack these packs in. Uh, we'll start with the oldest, I guess, Brothers of War. Okay. 
different suit we get. Uh, we got a bit of reunion, which isn't bad. Liquid metal coating. I don't think that can be played. Atomical Phoenix. So with these rules, we can't redeem wild cards, which means that we actually hope we don't get wild cards in our rare slot. Because if we can't redeem them, we can't. Um, it, it's a dead dead pack essentially. So uh, let's see what we get. Normally, wild cards would be amazing, but in this type of a nuzlocke, it is not. I have no idea what all these alchemy cards are because I don't read into alchemy stuff. Flying whenever Yoshan courier attacks, choose one that wasn't chosen during your last combat. Create a tap power stone to, uh, token. Or this attacks. Okay. Seek an artifact. What is seek again? To seek a card, but one at random from your deck into your hand. Okay, so it tutors for you randomly. Equal to the value of number of power stones you can throw. Okay. Thicker Wellspring, that's good for draw. I like that. I don't know if it could be played in, hi in Historic. Piece it together. Starting Intensity 1. What is Intensity? Perpetual. Perpetual, per perpetual effects are not removed from cards that change zone. Okay. Starting Intensity. Draw a card. If Piece it together's Intensity is 4, instead take an extra turn after this. Perpetual increase Piece it together's Intensity... And the intensity of cards name pieces together in your graveyard and and library by one. <laughs> okay. So I assume you play four of these and on your fourth one you get an extra turn? Is that what this means? Draw a card. If pieces together intensity is four, instead take an extra turn after this one. Repression increase pieces together's intensity and the intensity of cards name pieces together in your graveyard and and library by one. Yeah, I guess on the fourth one you take an extra turn. Kayla's Kindling. Wait, we can get a Seasoned Pyromancer out of this? Kayla's Kindling enters the battlefield. It deals 2 damage to any target. At the beginning of your upkeep, draft a card from Kayla's Kindling, Spellbook, and Exile into Undreamer Cast. Oh. Oh, there's 15 cards in this Spellbook, so we can get a Bolt, Terror of the Peaks, a Braid, Pyromancer, Singularity, Windfall, Siege Gang, Electro Dominance, Crackle with power. Does five times X damage to each of a, uh, X targets. Cleansing wildfire, fallout, bane fire, dual cast, gutter snipe. Enters the battlefield. It does two damage to any target at the beginning of your upkeep. Draft a card from the kindling spellbook and exile until end of turn. May cast that card. Wow, that is really good. That is really good. I think this is why I don't like alchemy. It's just like things are just too OP. And it's upsetting because like Season Pyromancer is a modern card. Like if you can put modern cards in here, let's start putting modern on here, you know? Like we were promised Pioneer years ago. Anyway, I I'm gonna try not to <laughs> to like rant off because this is a Nuzlocke challenge. So I'm gonna try not to rant off, but it's it's gonna pop out every once in a while. By Elspeth's command. See, I don't know these alchemy cards. You can combat on your turn. Choose one that wasn't chosen during the last combat. If one target soldier perpetually gets plus one plus one and gains flying. Choose a soldier card in your hand. It perpetually gets plus one plus one and gains vigilance. Create a one more color soldier artifact. Okay. Seems good. <clears throat> Astral Cornucopia. It's a great card. Don't know if it can be played. Alright, I'm just going to crack the rest of these. Um... Deloom Tome. Draw a card and discard a card. Argivian Welcome. Switch so up to one target creature with power 4 greater. Choose an all land card in your hand. First against Flash. Okay. What do we get? Radic Talzal. Oh, he's got a spell book too? Do we just play. Uh, do we just play spell book? Five color spell book? Maybe that's what we do. Anything that has a spell book. Because that's just. It's amazing. Hexproof from white, Hexproof from black, whenever one or more knights you control, attack. When they attack. Oh, my lanta. Okay. Yeah, we might just do that. Alright, this last pack, and then we're just going to kind of crack these. I'll probably fast forward through this. We'll get to some deck building. Chromatic Star. Nice. 
What do we get? Urza's construction drone. Enters the battlefield. Conjures. We get Tron? Enters the battlefield. Conjure cards named Urza's mine. Or into your library, then shuffle. Urza's construction drone. Attacks or dies. Seek a land. Wow! I guess we can play Tron and Alchemy. Oh my god. Alright. Okay, so I'm just going to crack through these and hit open all. Um, so yeah, let's just go through it. <clears throat> Darksteel Hydra. And it conjures. We just con make a conjure and spellbook deck? Is that what we're doing? I think that's what we do. Alright, we're... Yep, let me... I'll just shut up and crack these. We we'll can look through it later. Alright. Oh, my bad. I thought I hit all. Okay. In a strad. Remastered. Declaration Stone's really good. Diagraph Colossus is really good as well. Alright, it's open mobs. Ginger Taxis. Invasion of Tolvada. That's really good. So we can re uh, reanimate. Incubate. Alright. Aftermath. <clears throat> There's Rada. Oh, I thought I opened all of them again. Oh, that's a dead pack. That sucks. Ooh, a Sizen. Ooh, Sizen's really good. So we could draw. He's put it in draw two. Yep. So now, with Lord of the Rings, we're really just hoping we hit some rings. Uh, the one ring. Hope we can hit at least one ring because in historic that that card is going to be really really good and really useful. So uh, let's kind of hope we can do that. Oh come on, give us the one ring. Ah oh, Bob Saget, R.I.P. Uh, nope. All right, we got Glinton Dagger, Lost Isle Calling, Mines of Moria. Okay. All right, now let's go into here. Let's make a deck for historic. Fortunately, our our mythics again. Let's see what can we. Oh yeah, huh. Uh, spell book, right? I guess we only had two cards that gave a spell book. So, what's this? Uh, white, black, red. White, black, red. It's not Abzan. Abzan is with the green. Uh, why am I drawing a blank? I don't remember what white, black, red is. Jun? No. Jun is black, red, green. What is white, black, red? I can't think of it right now. Conjure was the other one. Uh, we're looking at colorless. I guess we just throw this in. White, black, red. Premiered in. Hex Gold Sledge enters the battlefield. Conjure a card named Goblin. Gavalier. Okay, so right click for more information and crafting options. But I want to see what the other conjure is. On the battlefield equipped, it gets plus one. The conjure card is added to the game. Conjures one of two. So what's the other thing you can conjure? Alright, well, we'll just throw it in, I guess. <clears throat> so we're going to splash in the green, trample. How do we... We can't see what the other card is. We actually played in the ingot. Okay. Uh, when Mephidros Slime dies, conjure a card named Mephidros Slime into your graveyard. Perpetually double the power and toughness of uh, Mephidros Slime and that card. Then shuffle them into your owner's library. Wow, that just kind of 
keeps going and going and going. We'll drop two of those in there. That's really good that we got two. Begin of your end step, put an oil counter on up to one target creature. Whenever a non-token creature you control with one or more oil counters on it dies, conjure X duplicates of it until of it into exile. For X is the number of oil counters on it. Those duplicates perpetually get plus X plus X. Then shuffle the Hold up. I just read a chapter in a book. Let me uh Let me redo this. Let me reread it. At the beginning of your end step, put an oil counter on, on up to one target creature. Got it. Check. Check, Roger. Okay. Whenever a non-token creature you control with one or more oil counters on it dies, conjure X duplicates of it into exile. Okay. At the beginning of your end step, put an oil counter on up to one target creature. So we can put it on the slime. We can put the pu put oil counter on the slime. Beginning of your end step, put an oil counter on up to one target creature. Okay. We put it on the slime. Let's just say that. Hypothetically. Whenever a non-token creature you control with one or more oil counters on it dies, conjure X duplicates of it into exile, where X is the number of oil counters on it. Those duplicates perpetually get plus X plus X, then shuffle them into your library. So then we get more of these. Okay, so that'll be really good in, for the slime, for what we're doing here. Are we just going to play five color? I don't think so. We're at four colors right now, right? Black, white, red, green. Do I just throw this in? <laughs> it gets us a mox opal. <laughs> Do we just throw it in? I mean, at this point, whatever, right? When it enters the battlefield, conjure a cart name into your... It ETBs, you make a Mox Opal. Like, I guess, because we have artifact here. We have an artifact here. Uh, let's see. We have an artifact here. So it'll it'll be able to... Well, this is an enchantment. I thought this was a, a creature. Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll put the laboratory in. All right. I, we're just going five color. I'll, I'll shut up. We're going to go five color. Okay, but we need to check our land base is what we need to do. Do we have any good lands in here that they gave us? Freezies? No? Okay, then it doesn't matter. I don't care. All right. Um, that's what we need. Gain a life with these lands. Life gain lands. Or, there's the only ones we have, so that's what we're doing. Got it. Yeah, we're just going to do two of each. Whatever. <laughs> uh, 24 lands. Sure, that works. Alright, we got the land base out the way. Okay, now what else are we going to do? Um, we need knights. That's what we need. Well, it's a good thing we only have three. <laughs> uh, Hexproof from white, Hexproof from black. Whenever one or more knights you control, attack. Okay. He can do it himself as well, which is good. Transform this, so we'll put this in here. As first strike, as long as another knight entered the battlefield under control this turn. Okay, so there. We got we got our knights. Um, what else has oil counters? Do we have that enchantment, the red one? Obviously not, because it's not right here. Got it. Acre plate golem. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it has one or more oil counters on it, put an oil counter on it. Because you control the oil counters on them, get a plus one. Okay. Um, wait, this one looks familiar. In the battlefield, you gain three life. Then if you control permanent with an oil counter on it, draw a card. I will put two of those in there, because we just need stuff. And battlefield... Oh, Four oil counters on it. This trample as long as it has two or fewer counters on it. Otherwise, it has hex proof. If it has three or more, okay. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove an oil counter from this. And if it has no oil counter, sack it. Okay. Alright, so do we have any draw? Oh yeah, the piece it together that we can't use. But it's, it's a one casting draw. So I mean... We're just going to throw it in anyway. Tap target creature, scribe one, then draw a card. Okay. Whenever you scribe, put a burst counter on Lost Isle Calling. Tap six, exile this. Draw a card for each burst counter on Lost Isle Calling. We've had seven or more burst counters on it. Take an extra turn after this one. Activate only as a sorcery. Whenever you scry. 
We have one scry, right? Uh, we'll put this in because it draws cards. Outer stones. Two less cast we can flying. Yep. It gives us more draw. Okay. Oh yeah, Sizen. Uh, Icarus Wellspring, Chromatic Star, nice. Prophetic Prism. We get for mana fixing. So historic, we can play these cards. Okay. They give your upkeep if you control creature power four greater draw a card. Sure. How many creatures do we have? Sixteen. All right. Got a bunch of garbage in here. Um. Flash. What has flash? I want keyword cards in here. Yeah, this is OG Gen. Okay. At the beginning of your up at the beginning of your end step, draw seven cards. Each opponent's maximum hand size is reduced by seven. We don't have maximum hand size, so I'd rather not do that right now. Enter the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. <laughs> Disrupt to one target creature power four greater, choose an online card in your hand, it gains flash. Yep, we'll throw that in here. Okay. What do we have in here? Nope, we can't play that. Look at metal coding. Who could you do a personal person has haste that you each combat untap equipped creature equipped creature has first strike as long as it's blocking or blocked by a goblin or or who gets a plus one plus one has haste and then it untaps huh. this one we should put in here because it um it tutors out two lands for us onto the battlefield so yeah we only have one uh for exchange atlas i think we should put in here each opponent ha who has three or more poison counters on it loses life. Add one mana. Because it's just a mana rock at that point of any color. <clears throat> Power plant worker. Power plant worker gets plus two, plus two to end of turn. If you control creatures named mine worker, tower worker, put two counters on them. Nope, we don't have the other pieces. Put target card from a graveyard on the bottom of your library. Uh, sure. Opia. No. What's in here? We get an Abbotson Pilgrim. Which then your permanent control has four two. You have your end step. If one more creature died this turn, you gain that much life. And there should be that many. Uh, sure, we'll put that in there. Just a one of. Oh. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, look at the top three cards of life. Put one of them into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. Not the Sarn enters the battlefield. Target player mills three cards, then amass X works. Or X is number of instant switches. Okay, sure. Throw that in there. What was this one again? Oh, it needed artifacts. How many artifacts we got? We're at 19 creatures, 9 artifacts. Opal should be able to hit. Whenever attacks, choose one that wasn't chosen during your last combat phase. Sure. Cast Instant Sorcery, it gets that. Enter the battlefield, create A11. Took one over another creature. For artifact, you control spent to appear from the battlefield with an oil counter on. Your oil counter's order, exile top card. In the library, you may play that card this turn. Okay. We're at 60. What else do we have here? Third of your library, round it up for a card. Put that card into your hand, then shuffle. I mean that's not bad. It's a tutor for the top third of your of your deck. Uh, sure. We have two. There's a creature, Dina Soul Steeper. I can't remember what she does. Whenever you gain one, whenever you gain life, each opponent loses a life. Okay, sacrifice another creature. Dina Soul gets plus X and O. X is sacrifice creature power. Okay. Um. What else we got? 
Galaxy card two or less, and a card with mana value three or greater. Discard those cards at the beginning of your next turn to end step. So you'd have to play them right then and there, otherwise they get discarded. Rada. Oh, wait. These don't count for that for domain. I don't think we have any domain in here. So we should be fine. Yeah, we're not rocking domain. So we're not going to rock Rada. We don't have the land for, for domain on that. Horses you control have haste. Whenever Lord Horses attacks, you may put a creature card with lesser power from your hand onto the battlefield tap to attacking. E. Frodo. No legendary creature enters the battlefield under control. The ring tempts you as long as Frodo is your ring bearer and must be blocked. Okay, so we throw in Frodo. That's good. Creature enters the battlefield under control. You may pay two. Proliferate. I think that's it. Okay, so now we just got to dwindle out three cards. <clears throat> um, take out one of those. I thought there was something in here I was second guessing. Uh, we could take out the gold. And take out one more. Got a lot of tap lands. I think it'd be better if we had um, more lands that came in untapped. Let's do that. Um, go here. Here. Uh, let's go like that. Okay. We're going to take out one. What was it? Ah, there was something in here. I'll take out one of those. That's fine. Okay. Wow, we don't got nothing. I kind of forgot that this isn't my regular account, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, confirm. Got it. Okay. And so we got to name this. Stank Jank. Let's go. All right. Deck construction is done for the Nuzlocke. Let's get to a game and just see how bad this is. Um, sure. I, I guess we have to play a bot match. I don't know. <sighs> it's. I, I guess this will be a trial run for the deck. Uh, we'll keep this because we got Ichor Ready Wellspring. Drop land, gain a life. Also got Chromatic Star, which is good. We'll get to draw a card. Got our lands. This is when it dies. Oh, the beginning of your end step. Okay. Uh, we need black source. So let's do this. Gain a life. Right here. Um, sure. Just like a Tron player, put, put the green. <laughs> uh, and then we'll pass. <laughs> we might lose the Sparky, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we don't have a second black source, so we're going to drop another tap land. We'll play Gyox Brutal, Conable. Beginning of your end step, put an oil counter up to one target creature. Oh, duh. I mean, the slime has to be in my hand, but yeah, that's fine. Or on the in the battlefield. What are the the other creatures? What I mean. So we're gonna play the oil. Gorger Troll. Any control permanent with an oil counter on We get to draw a card for that, which is good. Because we have an oil counter. Dope. Uh, can't do anything with that. We do have more trolls in the deck, so we want to put a counter on there. Um, sure. In life. Drop this. Draw a card. There's another black source. 
Play this. Mirrored in. Alright. I don't think we have any removal. Mm, we didn't put any murders in here. We, we And we got three, if I remember right. Um, let's see. They have two, three, four. I mean, I guess let's just see what they do. Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> All right. Um, let's put Sizen up. That was wicked. Right? Sick, huh? Uh, let's swing with everything. Um, plus one, plus O. Oh. Does that matter to me? Sure, let's just throw it up on size. So we're going to be drawing cards and taking two damage, and we got some damage in on them first, so that's good. So as long as we can keep our life total above theirs, we should be able to be pretty good. And a battlefield X oil counters on it. Each equal to twice the number of oil counters on it. And there's a battlefield conjurer named Darcy Ingrid and a card named... <gasps> Excuse me. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four, right? Power four greater. It's flash. Uh, none of that. All right. Uh, play dark steel. On this cast, you draw a creature with flying. We have no creatures with flying. Hey, what's that? Uh, you can. Card. Sure. Whoa, that's going to leave a mark. Mm, right here, they take two they're down to one. What do we take? Seven, because we have no flyers. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we die because of Sizen. See you again soon, Planeswalker. <laughs> we died to Sparky. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. We just sh essentially shielded ourselves. <laughs> Oh, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> Bot match round two. I guess we gotta get this dub, right? Events. Do I have to finish color challenge in order to get to ranked? I wish it would tell me. Play a practice game with Sparky, our AI computer opponent. Okay. Let's let's try this again. Night. We have a blue and a white. We're gonna mulligan this. We need lands. There we go. Let's 
Uh, put Sizen back. Not because of last game. <laughs> but because we just have no black mana whatsoever. Sick. Maybe we can Tron. We could Tron out this game. That'd be cool. Boop. In battlefield. Attacks or dies. Sick. That's awesome. This is gonna be good. I wonder if there's a reason why this doesn't see play just because um, huh. it just dies. Uh, no attacks because I want to make sure we can at least. Oh, when it attacks or dies. Or not and. We'll block there. Block here. Take four. Sure. Um. Plus one plus O. Alright, we'll this out. Control creature with that. Put this on here. Um, swing out. Whoa. Oh! Okay, That's so we're gonna... Leave a mark. Five, six, seven, eight. I gotta do my math so we don't die to, to, to the bot again. So that's cool. Uh, we're gonna go to Combat Wombat, get the last Tron man. Then we can put this Dark Steel Hydra out and just start hitting like a champ. So it would have triggered on both, that's fine. Oh, we don't have a black source. Oh, that's big dumb. That's what we're missing. Alright, we'll end the turn. That sucks. I think we are just gonna lose, like, to this all the time. And getting past the bot alone is gonna be difficult. We need to put more swamps in, and we need to, um, yeah, this game. Jeez. I was about that for a I'm sure you were. <laughs> All right, let's add some. Uh, we need some destroy. Tap creature. Sack an artifact or a creature for this. Okay. Sacrifice creature. Pay four. Flash of the Balrog. Rotar creature. Isn't this the same thing? Oh, that one's just a uh, or or planeswalker. Power two or less. There's our murders. Okay. Uh, we can take that out. Take out one red. Need more swamps, that's for sure. Where are we at land wise? Twenty four. Okay. Burn's heart is a ramp. Friction Atlas that gives us ramp. That does that. That's a knight. Uh, we'll keep that in. 
Surf, Liar. We'll take it out, though. Because we need to take out four cards still. This is good against that mono green, but we don't know what we're playing against. Assemble the team. Not worried about that. Essentially, this is draw for two, because we have no one drops. So, take out Chromatic Star. And uh, one more card. Take this out since we don't have any flying. All right. Third time's a charm, right? I completely forgot we didn't have any spot removal whatsoever. Uh, sure, we can keep this. We got the white source for the vengeance. We got two black for murder. And we have the Urza Tron land. Uh, pop this in. In life. Ugh, on a red burn, huh? Hopefully they don't lightning strike our dude. Swing in. Get a plant. And on death trigger, so that's fine. Uh, and then we'll do this, draw a card. Alright, so we have our Tron lands. Our ring bear, as is pretty lore, pretty lore like. Sure. Uh, we'll just get rid of this one. The tower. Greater. Oh no! That sucks. Oh, we have plenty of lands. Draw a card. Okay, put this out. And end the turn. Um, uh, block here. Oh, and has first strike. Uh, we can't play this either. Our four greater. Jesus. In life. End the turn. Block the nest robber. Murder that. Alrighty then. That's the turn. Oh, my Lanta. Are you serious? Stop giving me lands. 
Well, we have to block one of them. Dude, really? W what is this? I have 12 lands. I have, what, 9 left in the deck? Or 10 lands left in the deck? No, 8. Because I have 2 in hand. Finally. Get that out of here. Play land. End the turn. This is the upkeep, right? Yeah. Uh, Siege Gang. Play Siege Gang. Get some creatures on the board. This is where the power of the deck comes out. Is like these two cards, honestly. Expert from white. Oh my god. Three reduced to ash. And then all four of these minotaurs? Two, three, four, yeah. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, we take a pyromancer. Play this. Get a Mox Opal that we technically don't necessarily need. Play the Pyromancer. Yep. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, what is this? Two for that? Same with all three of these. Activate. Two damage. Attack a goblin. Uh, let's put it here. Here. And this. Actually, no. Let's put them all right here. Let's trample. Uh, let's take another Pyromancer. Just get these lands out of our deck. Um, swing in. Alright, looks like we got there this time. Third time's a charm, right? <laughs> so once we get our, our our cards going, then it's a it's a pretty decent deck, I would say, I guess. Let's just swing in. All right. Now does this open up rank to us? <gasps> Excuse me. Or do we have to play those color change things? do have to do the color challenge all right well we're gonna stop uh the video here but here we are with the new new um account and everything as you can see nah friends average planeswalker 2 so whenever we do the nuzlocke challenge i'm gonna kind of make this a series uh we're gonna jump into this account and we're gonna try and climb ranked ladder so today, we <laughs> our challenge was just to get past the bot, just past P Sparky. That's all we were trying to do today. So <laughs> it took us three games, third third game, third games of charm, right? Uh, so next time we do the Nuzlocke challenge, we are going to have to play through. Um, where is it? Ah, um, color challenge. So apparently, we have to get through all of this in order to unlock ranked. So, it's probably going to be a while before we get to ranked. Because if we have to win 5 for white, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 games. Maybe each one of these will be like an episode. We get 5 wins in this white episode, and then the next episode we'll do, we'll get 5 wins in blue, and so on and so on. And we'll have like a playlist and a Nuzlocke series going on. So, um, 
yeah, so let's let's go for that. Uh, currently, the deck we're doing is Stank Jank, and we're running with the rules set by um, Homeboy here, uh, Migu Cheres. Migu Cheres. I, again, I apologize if I'm I'm butchering that, but um, yeah. So that's that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, ugh, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> to be rough we already killed ourselves to size and once <laughs> that's hilarious um so shout out to him go check his channel he does a lot of work uh he's from a different country so i don't know what language it is i'm naive when it comes to that but anyway um this is average plains walker and appreciate y'all stopping by go check out the podcast episode two should be coming out real soon we're gonna work on episode three in a couple weeks here um and we're gonna go from there so i appreciate you checking those out and um I am doing another series that's a Nuzlocke version that I want to put together, and that is where you, the the people watching, and you know uh, those who sub to me, or even if you didn't, if you're in the comments or anything, I want to do something that's like two to four cards, standard only, two to four cards that I can't use, that cannot be used in the deck, and then two to four cards that must be used in the deck. Uh, and the cards that I cannot use cannot be any, but the cards that I can use can be like one to four copies of. Um, and you kind of want to brew decks in that aspect, kind of nuzlocke ourselves in that way. And if you have any other ideas for a nuzlocke, that'd be really cool. So, thanks for stopping by. This is Average Planeswalker out. Catch y'all later. Peace.